Baba always jumped around in his writing. He'd start with one, then finish another, always going with whatever ideas came to him. He let me read a few of his finished manuscripts, but only the finished ones. I'd never seen half of this before. I... I'm going to read them. It doesn't matter if they're unfinished. For the time he was writing, he still had something to say. They're still a part of him. Baba's books. So many genres and stories that they have their own room in our house. Mama wanted to donate the older ones, but Baba wouldn't let her. He was always in the middle of reading them, he said. I think I'll read my way through his collection. No time better than the present, right? Baba would think so. Yeah, he really would. Mama's Nakshi. Baba wanted me to pick something special to celebrate. I'm going to be a big brother. I just hope I can live up to the challenge. She won't know Baba. But that doesn't mean I can't introduce her to him through his stories. The world he loves. The people he values. say this is a mess. I should probably tidy it up at some point. I mean, looks fine to me. Oh, the griot lamp. So yet. Why did Baba think I'd want one of these? Fact! The giraffe only sleeps for around 30 minutes a night. That must be our parents' fear. Okovu, the city of the future. <laughs> I could have just made a volcano, but Baba dared me to do better. To really think about my project. I wanted to make something people would want. What they need. A better future. A sustainable, powerful. Maybe one day I can make it a reality. Really. I'd sell my plans to Pomodja Corp and buy Mama a beautiful home in the country. She'd love that. It'll have to change soon. We'll have the little one here and she'll need a room. But for now, it's like a time capsule. A really nostalgic one. bedroom. It feels empty. I wish I could build a time machine and take Mama back to this day. She always said it flew by so quickly. She and Baba didn't even get any of their own cake. Mama's new painting. It's a lot darker than her usual work. Mama always said you create art with your feelings as the palette. And I could see it all, right here, her heart on the canvas. But Mama is Mama. Even when she's grieving, her real self can't help but come out. Right there, a glimmer of light. Little Ozzy! Bibi and Gina bought this in the hospital shop the day I was born. I'm surprised it's still in good shape. Bibi called it my guardian spirit. She said, in the ancient times, 
Griot bats like these would protect the pure of heart. I miss her a lot. But, in a way, I'm glad she was never around to see how things turned out with Baba. That would have broken her. It was scary for me, his child, but I can't imagine. Baba's own mother. said I wasn't ready. I know he is gone. It's just, I don't think I'm ready to, I mean, I, the world continues to spin, but there is a part of me that feels this wasn't supposed to happen. This wasn't how the story should have ended. It, it wasn't supposed to end this way. I, I, I don't, I can't. I feel so lost. It is done. The three great spirits sought and healed. The promise fulfilled. We must return to Patakatifu. We must go to the realm of the dead. 
Yes. Whenever you are ready, so. Thou. This is where we enter the realm of the dead. The pool is the conduit, and these waters will guide us through. We can wait if we must, but when you are ready, tell me so. I am ready to enter the realm of the dead.
grains of sand will slip through our hands to journey the lands. Death's fear consumes, a catalyst it becomes, for blooming in its wake as the heart overcomes. As fledglings leave their nests soaring to the sky, a parent knows inevitably they must bid their child goodbye. See it now. I know you do. Diwaroho, where the path begins and ends. It is peaceful here. That is because your heart beats with peace. It sees no more anger, no more fear, no more sorrow. Your heart beats with your ancestors now. Peace. You see it now. I know you do. <laughs> I ask you now, Zao, Shaman of Amandla, are you truly ready to perform your duties? As my son, Papa, I am. <laughs> then show me. Show me you are ready.
Oh, my Baba. Baba Yangu. Baba Yangu. Baba Yangu. You truly thought you could summon and barter with death itself. So headstrong. So defiant. Oh, my son. Did I make you proud of me, Baba? Are you proud of me? I have always been proud of you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for, my boy? For feeling angry. Scared. Zhao, healing can only begin when we have conceded to our emotions. When we do not hide them. When we do not ignore them. But I could not save you. You could not save me from my fate. But you have saved many others from theirs. The path you have walked has been one of service and compassion. And that is all I could ever wish of you. A lion's heart swells with pride as they watch their cub roar with might. Papa, I love you. I love you too. Now, Zhao, my son, perform your duty.